improved in digital mammography and you can use this magnification, change the contrast, brightness and you can get the image acquisition very clearly. This is a film mammography, this is a digital mammography. You can see the difference, uh, size of difference between these two. When you take a digital mammography, one person like you, that is Professor of Radiology and Biomedical Engineering, Mr. Pisano, he has done 42,760 women digital mammographic imaging screening trial. That is the one of the largest one. In that, he has told, confirmed that under 50, pre-perimenopausal, dense breast, you should do this digital mammograph, mammography that was published in the February Radiology Journal. What is the three recent advances which took place in mammography? One is the digital mammography, that is full field digital mammography. And the second one is the, you people have given it to us. This is computer aided detection. You have formulated one thing, software, you have given it to us. So that is easy for us to pick up the earliest change which we are not able to see. So that this will tell us the computer aided detection and the breast tomosynthesis, that is 3D reconstruction work. That is full field digital mammography. Here, the film is replaced by a solid state detector, selenium detector, which convert the X-rays into electrical signals. These detectors are similar to the digital camera, which I told you. The electrical signals, analog to digital converter, are used to produce the image of the breast, seen in a computer screen, printed on a special film in a conventional mammogram. So that is the digital mammogram. Next one is the computer aided detection. Once it comes to the computer, then what we can do is reduce the tissue overlap and contrast enhancement that you can make it. And a 3D visualization of a micro, because that micro calcification is the indicator of a malignant. So we have to pick up this micro calcification, shape and size of the lesion, depth and contrast resolution is better in this computer aided detection and a breast tomosynthesis, not commercially available in India. As I told you, this is the breast and the film cassette is kept. Film is, we get it like that. This is film mammogram. Same thing, when you push it to the computer, the digital imaging processing, display where we can modify the brightness, contrast, and the, uh, uh, all, all you can magnify it and see the better visualization. This is how the equipment looks. This is the mammography, digital mammography. As soon as you take, within three seconds, it will be displayed in this. And then you can see the images in the monitor. So that is the advantage of a digital mammography. But we are talking so much about the digital mammography. As far as the patient point of view, digital mammogram is essentially same as that of a conventional film mammogram. See, this is a conventional film mammogram. It is immaterial for the patient, but for the clinician who has to diagnose smaller lesion, micro calcification, or uh, uh, any any smaller lesion, for that we need a digital mammogram. See, this is what. See, this is the view view box. In that illumination also it plays an important role, so that we can see the right and left breast under the clarity of the image, the lesion, here it is speculated margins and how much, this is definitely a malignant lesion. So early pickup, you need this digital mammogram. Advantage is, you can have a brightness and contrast can be modified and a better lesion detection is there in the digital mammogram. X-ray dose also is lower in the digital mammography. Philips has come out with a micro-dose photon technique, so the reduction of the dose is about 50%. Image is immediately been seen under the CAD computer-aided reduction, like a second look in helping the radiologist to detect the tiniest lesion and printed in a film. This is what the film mammography, how much clarity you are getting it in the digital mammography. This is the difference between the film and the digital mammography.
when you go to this imaging objective, what as a clinician I want to see the visualize the entire breast anatomy so that the nook and corner or anything small abnormality that I have to pick it up and the all signs of pathology that is what my ultimate goal to have a digital mammography signs of pathology and a reasonably radiation dose so this is my objective that is what you people have created and given it to us and the image quality also is important if it is a dark, overexposed, underexposed we will not be able to read this, this small micro calcification because this has also has got a significance when we can diagnose this as a malignant lesion. So for that, what you need? Geometry. Very important one is the geometry and the signal noise ratio. That signal noise ratio, contrast sensitivity, contrast of the breast and the blur, artifacts, all these plays a very important role in the image quality. How we will achieve this one? So you should have a very good design of the equipment, imaging protocol, technique and the quality assurance. All these will contribute to this image quality. When you take this digital mammogram, three things. One is the anode, second one is the filter and third one is the focal spot. These three plays a very important role when, when you are exposing this and the for the patient. When you take the tube anode, most of the X-ray tubes, you all might have read that is a tungsten. Whereas the mammographic equipment is the molybdenum, or sometimes we use this rhodium as a dual material for this uh, tube anode and a characteristic radiation spectrum which is classical for this digital mammography. Next is the filter. Filter also, usually we use this aluminum or aluminum equal filter, whereas in this mammography, we will use this work in a different principle, that is the molybdenum is used as a filter material. Sometimes in automatic control function, we will use this rhodium also as a filter. Another one is the focal spot, 0 0.1 to 0 0.3, we will have two selectable ones, smaller focal spot for a minimal blurring and a good visibility detail and a two smaller focal spots is used for this mammography technology. So anode focal spot and the uh, this best compression is very important one. We have to compress it so that uniformly the breast is compressed and then the uh, whatever the image quality what we are getting will be the best in the case of the breast compression. As you all know, when the compression is uniform, you will have a good compression that will cause a receptor exposure to be of a uniform and then that wave pattern also will be very good. To summarize, the anode filter and the KV, KV will be less and the MAS will be high in the mammographic film. So mammogram, mammogram, so anode and the filter plays a very important role when it comes here and then you will have a cassette or the, the, the digital one, automatically you can adjust all these things and then you can expose it so that you will get a good digital image. As I told you, molybdenum and rhodium will be the anode one and the filter will be molybdenum, mostly dense breast will use this rhodium also. KV will be between 24 to 30, low KV, high MAS, that is for the mammogram. X-ray spectrum, if you see the filter, see this photon energy, this is the molybdenum and the rhodium and the filter overlapping will be there, KV will be, ID will be around 26 KV, that is what the uh, radiographer will be exposed to. Depending upon the breast thickness, See, 2 cm, you will give a 25 kg. 4 cm breast thickness, 27 kg. If it is uh, 30 cm, you will give a 6 cm. So, breast thickness and density, the kg varies from 25 to 30, 30 kg. Automatically, automatically, it will have a set priority, so that breast thickness and density there. But the contrast and the reduction of the dosage is the very important one in the automatic set control. And the next one is the 
scattered radiation. See when the it hits here and then reflected back with the scatter, blurring of the image will be there. Without scatter, you will see a clear image. That is the radi scattered radiation. And also here the receptor exposure in a y-axis, x-axis, and the number of pixels in a y-axis, dense tissue, adipose tissue, and the nipple area. You see the how the contrast is variable in these. But all this has to be compromised and then you have to get a uniform picture in this digital mammogram. And a characteristic curve, you also know the characteristic curve, this is shoulder and this is toe. Uh, toe and uh, this, this maximum contrast will be here and uh, here this receptor exposure. And uh, we have to take it within this area so that you get the best out of the film mammogram. Design. As I told you, the characteristic curve and the contrast sensitivity, exposure level, under under exposure, over exposure. So this is the correct one. And the processing level and the viewing condition also plays an important role in the contrast sensitivity. <coughs> so here, digital imaging processing it will cut all those things. This area only, so that you will have a better display of the soft tissue contrast. So that is the important one in the digital mammography. And also, general radiographic film that the characteristic curve will be like this. Whereas the mammographic film that the green one. So high density, you get the high definition of the tissues. So these are all the things which has played on getting the good mammographic uh, exposure under the digital one. So the density also will take up in this area. So the relative exposure will be in this area so that we will get a good uh, image filler. High density, we will process it for the contrast sensitivity will be the high density. So already the, the breast tissue has got a fat. In spite of that, we will get the images to be, to be very clear and also there will be small mass, very small. This is 2 millimeter mass which will be seen very clearly when you follow all this focal spark and the, uh, this tungsten, uh, this uh, anode, anode one and all. So the physical contrast also plays a because adipose tissue does form a low density background, whereas high contrast sensitivity is necessary in the breast tissue. Viewing condition, that is also luminance of the viewing box also plays a role when you are detecting, suppose if it is very dark that you cannot see that one, but it has to be very clear like that and then this is the less than 50 loop so that you can see the lesion very clearly in the viewing condition also. So summarize this contrast sensitivity, anatomical and whether it is a thin breast, thick breast or medium breast, anatomical environment, spectrum of the filter, scattered radiation and the characteristic curve of the filling and the viewing condition, all these plays a role in this contrast sensitivity. Beam penetration also plays, what has happened? Body penetration will have a reduced dose when it goes here and then scattering and the object penetration reduces the contrast. When the photon energy between 15 to 20 will have an increased dose, whereas when it goes to 20 to 30, then it will have a decreased contrast. So this is a photon energy. Thick breast and thin breast of this graph. Ideal spectrum will be between 15 to 23, the contrast will be good. And uh, but as the reduced reduction of the dose should be there. So this has to be reduced. So that's why you will expose it between 24 to 30 photon kV. Next comes this computer aided detection where the digitized mammography can be obtained in a digital acquired mammogram. Computer software search for a density calcification indicate the presence of a cancer and the CAD system highlights the radiologist. You have missed this one. You carefully look at that, whether it is a vessel or any micro calcification is there. What will happen? The imaging film will be loaded in this image over your processor. When it goes through it, it will give lot of 
areas and then it will become here and then you will see this one. It is like a spell checker. When you put that digital mammogram inside, it will give you some of the CAD areas of whether it is normal or abnormal, you decide. So highlight the areas that might be abnormal. By doing so, it is designed to improve the moderate sensitivity of the mammography. Sophisticated pattern the regeneration computer software designed to detect even the smallest one. This is the MR mammogram where you can see that the uh, abnormality has been picked up. Next is the 3D, three dimensional breast image where the X ray tube moves in an arc over the breast and a series of thin slices are taken. Improve the detection of cancer and fewer patients are recalled for additional imaging. That is chromosynthesis. What will happen? This is the X-ray tube, but it will rotate like an arc so that the entire breast is scanned and then you will get a 25 projections of the breast and in each section you can take and analyze whether there is any abnormality is there or not. If you see this, this is the 3D reconstruction. You see that small calcification which is seen here, next section it is not seen. You can magnify it, you can zoom or you can manipulate contrast, brightness, you can adjust and see for it any, any skin thickening or puckering or any micro calcification that can be made out in this 3D breast tomosynthesis. To conclude, digital mammography improves the physician's ability to detect the very small lesions. When cancers are small, the woman has a more treatment option. That is digital mammography. I should thank this Perry Sprouls, Professor of Medical Physics, USA. I read this article which was very useful and uh, I should thank my Professor of Medical Physics, Dr. Pandisula. He has also helped me to prepare these slides. Thank you. Imagine a 70 year 